Hello everyone, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. I'm actually doing this Saturday night. So, we may run into uh, some lag issues and stuff like that. But, uh, I thought it'd be better to try and squeeze this in before bedtime. Than to, uh... Hmm. Than to try and do things on, uh, Sunday. Sundays can be rather busy. If you know us. Yeah, there's a quest marker there. And, uh... We'll be actually getting to the quest marker. Just going inside instead. That's for the guild, the uh, Thieves' Guild. I did mention that a few episodes ago. So, yeah. It's about time that we do it. <sighs> Come here. The guild needs you. Did Zira speak with you about the wedding? Wedding? What wedding? Kosh returned Magnifica Falora's dowry. Seems she's agreed to marry him to bind the futures of Tanith and Abaz Landing. How romantic. Our old guildmaster is behind all this. Zero wants Nikolaus to pay for his betrayal. I'll speak to Zero. Find Zero in the den. And hurry, the wedding is very soon. Why would Magnifica Falora marry Kosh? My theory? Nikolaus gives Kosh the stolen dowry. Kosh returns it to Chief Inspector Ron Beek. With the dowry recovered, the Iron Wheel departs. This gives Kosh great influence with the Merchant Lords, the same ones who buy from all the pirates raiding Tanith. So what does Falora get out of it? Kosh becomes her puppet. He keeps the Abaz Landing Merchant Lords in line. This removes a threat to Tanith, which elevates her among her peers. Better yet, she gets to marry and keep her own dowry. She gains money and influence. How about that? <sighs> How does Nicholas gain from the wedding? Kosh pays him a large sum of money for the dowry. He heads somewhere remote, retires like Velsa did, spends his fortune on all those paintings he loved to acquire. Unless one of us finds him and feeds him his own liver. I'd do it, if Zira asked. Uh, let's My see. theory? Nikolaus gives Kosh the stolen dowry. Okay. Kosh becomes her puppet. He keeps the Abaz Landing Merchant Lords in line. This removes a threat to Tanith, which elevates her among her peers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better yet, she gets to marry and keep her own dowry. She yeah, gains yeah, yeah, money yeah, yeah. and influence. How about that? Thrag, why do you know so much about this? I read. Hammerfell politics are fascinating. You ask me, nobles are thieves who pick the pockets of nations. Ah. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Really? What the hell? Is that out of range? Nuts fell in the water. Okay. So you're supposed to be sitting in this chair. There you are. You heard about the wedding? This is our chance to repay Nicholas for selling out the Thieves Guild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
read the line yourself. Oh my god. Nicholas must have planned all this. Stealing the dowry, using it as leverage on Falora. Now she's bound to marry Kosh, his puppet. So we're going to crash the wedding. Now why would we do that? If Magnifica Falora learns exactly who she's about to marry, she'll turn the iron wheel on Kosh. And if we threaten Kosh's future, Nicholas will scuttle into the open. I look forward to stepping on him. All right, tell me what you need. Silver Claw said he'd help with invitations. Meet him at his shop down by the harbor. What happens when we find Nicholas? I haven't decided. But whatever happens, you deserve to be there. Now, a nice, cool thief thing would, the, would be to leave them completely and utterly destitute. Hi, Sushi. So that is something that we may go for. But death is good, too. I mean, I think the Brotherhood would approve. Are you gonna lie down? Lie down, kitty. Oh, uh, where are we going? Map me. Where are we going? There. Hi, kitty. Hey. How are you? Oh, you're gonna lie down. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Ah, oh, if you see, we're actually getting closer to the uh, mansion. Oh my god, I, I forgot about that. Um, where is it? Where is, it? is this a collections? Uh, no. Housing. We have that. That's a new one. I bought that one. With uh, gold. That was 61,000 gold, I think. And I'm at 30, 31,000, so yeah. Um, Sushi's biting my hand. It's a play bite. So I can't do anything until she's done. She's done. Good. Yes. So that is a reward for an assassin mission or was it for something else? Actually this way? I don't recall. It says below. Alright. That was a bad jump. Now it says below. Still below. There it is. Okay. Dun dun dun. Hi, sushi. How are you? How are you doing, kitty? Elsa. Oh, hello. Zira sent word I should expect you. Silverclaw? What's wrong? Every important merchant in Abba's Landing received a wedding invitation. Every single one. But not Silverclaw. Which merchants, exactly? Lord Wallavir, for one. That paranoid cheat lounges about the market as though he owns every tile on the walls. Or that lush Lady Balina. She won't even attend. Just use it as an excuse to buy another dress from Perseus Loke. She's sweet on him, you know. I need to get an invitation. Who should I steal it from? Hmm. I dislike them equally. Lord Wallavir would keep it in his pocket. Were you subtle enough, you could take it from him. Lady Balina would certainly leave it upon her bedroom dresser. Slip past her mentioned servants and house guards to retrieve it. I'll get the invitation. Good, good. 
When you do, meet me at your thieves' den. I may have experience in duplicating official documents. For my records, you see. Yes, for your records. And how, how can are you doing? expect a decent forgery? I can barely read your writing. That is intentional. I write defensively. It keeps prying eyes from deciphering my ledger. I'll take your word for it. I'll meet with the den. Or not. I don't think I'll risk my life on Zira's behalf. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah, she was retired. Okay, let's figure out. Is there a way up there through here? There is not. Excuse me. Sushi, are you going to be coming back or are you going to be leaving after your drink of water? <laughs> Staying, I think. Can't get you to lie down. No, you're leaving. You can flop on the bed if you want. That's perfectly acceptable. Uh, no. Over here, I think. Can't I just kill for it? Buying goods for sale? Guard, guard, guard. We wait. Pickpocket skills are not the greatest. I pressed the button. I pressed the button. Ah. Uh, oh, wait a second. So she did leave, so let's get the keyboard in a nicer spot. There we go. Do you want to leave? That's not the direction I want you to leave. Ugh, if you balls it up.
Got it. Not again? I can't believe it. Huh, that was uh an unexpected success. Where are we going? Wrong way. What do you want? There we go. There we go. Really, I can't believe I was able to pick his pocket. Dun 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 dun. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just looking at a video that's compressing right now. It's been going for 40 minutes, and the estimated time is five hours. Mm hmm. Elsa, for the third time, I hear your concerns and ignore them at your peril. Well, I'm in. A wedding at Hubalajad Palace? Just imagine the spread. Anyways. Did you get the invitation? Whose did you acquire? No, no, don't tell me. I want to see it with my own eyes. I have the invitation. Here, take it. Let me see here. And guest! Oh, this is good! The invitation allows for a single companion! Once you select your guest, you should visit the Diamond Thimble. If you aren't clothed in one of Perseus Locke's outfits, you'll stand out like a sore claw. I have to dress up? You don't have to dress up. You get to dress up. But your companion will need to acquire an outfit as well. So go on. I'll be over here. The invitation will be ready in no time at all. Hmm. <laughs> um. Not entirely sure, but you know what? This can only end badly. So, Silverclaw, come with. I'm not entirely proud of my accomplished penmanship, but it was necessary to protect my business in Abba's Landing. Do you wish to be my date to the wedding? But I am not a member of your thieves' guild, and these forgeries will take time. How will I find an outfit? Though I would like to see the inside of Hubalajad Palace. Very much so. I think you're the best choice to be my date. But why? I don't understand. You're the only one who isn't hunted by the Iron Wheel. That is a very good point. The perfect spies, pretending to be normal while hunting for a terrible villain. We shall fool them all, my friend. could have chosen anyone, but I do think it's kind of funny to uh, bring him, so that's precisely what I wanted to do. Now, if I was to choose an actual date, I would choose another woman. You know, because... I'd probably choose Velsa so I can get poisoned. Yeah. 
So let's go get uh, a dress. What is it? Ah, uh, below. What is mm -hmm. it? A pleasure, Lady Bellina. I always enjoy dressing you up. Then you should come by my mansion later to collect your payment. Have I mentioned my husband is away? Three times, in fact. My assistant will bring you the bill. Ah, my unlikely savior returns. Zira sent word of your stylistic needs. She said I need to choose an outfit. So how does this work? Well, any of the selections you see here should fit. I have an eye for these things. Uh, please note, the outfit shall be on loan. I humbly ask you return it with the exact same number of holes as when it left my establishment. <laughs> hmm. What would you recommend for such an event? Oh, that's like asking a parent to pick their favorite child. Each is special in its own way. Delicate fabrics and exhilarating patterns breathe life into whoever dons them. I don't mean to oversell it, but you shall feel born anew. You have a great passion. Oh, go with what speaks to you. The first choice is always the best one. Before we left for Al Dumba's tomb, Zira said you had been inside. Did you ever walk Malak's path? Oh, that horrid place of darkness. Magnifica Falora tried to lead me through, but I panicked and fled. It was sheer luck that I didn't fall to my death. And if she hadn't given me that trinket, we wouldn't be speaking today. Was it an amulet? Yes. It had a crystal holding a small amount of her blood. I mentioned it to your old guildmaster when he asked about the particulars of Aldenobia tomb. It's strange. I seem to have misplaced it. I haven't seen it in months. Why do you ask? No reason, no reason. Are the Iron Wheels still giving you trouble? Not after the Merchant Lords caught wind. It's good to be the preeminent tailor of Abba's Landing. Chief Inspector Ron Beek himself sent a personal apology. Something about excess zeal on the part of his underling. Oh, good. Oh, good. Now, let's see. So, we only have two options? Ooh, that's some pretty fabric. And again, examine. And uh, okay, let's see it. If that was in purple, if that was in purple, that doesn't seem right for a wedding. So this would seem to fit into possibly this uh, gala event. So I think remarkable as though the outfit shows you hard to miss you in that. My my, you don't exactly clean up, but you look absolutely roguish. I'll need my own outfit for the wedding, something with a covered face. Well, what do you mean? Did Silverclaw or do you an invitation as well? Not exactly. If Nicholas is working with Kosh, he may have given my description to the guards. 
I'll need your help to get inside. When you gain entrance to the palace, distract whoever watches the gates from within. I'll do the rest. I can do that. Good. Here's the wedding imitation, straight from the desk of Silverclaw. After you meet your date at Hubalajad Palace, present this to the gateman. I'll watch for your distraction. Excellent. Well, I still get to carry my swords. Now, where are we going? Oh, okay. Tally ho! Does everyone else see how stunning my date is? Good! Thanks for the low key. Alright, just hold on one sec. I'm going to do the stop start here. Alright. Ah, look at all the people here. Merchants, moneylenders, and their many hangers on. See how they look at me. As their equal. <laughs> it is a wonderful gift you have given me, my friend. How about your outfit? What about it? Too much? Too little? <laughs> Too much? Too little? I've never seen your hair before. You always wear a hat. No, I'm going to go. It looks good on you. To be honest... I thought I looked like one of those strange carvings on the ship's prow. But it looks good on me, you say? Then we shall be the fanciest spies in the palace. Which I should not say aloud here. I'm sorry, I'll be quiet. Can I hear them? We should get moving. Da, 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 da. Look at you. Such impeccable fashion belongs on the other side of this gate. Though I am a fool to request it, might I have your invitation? But of course, here you are. Yes, everything in order as expected. Refreshments shall be served until the wedding begins. And might I compliment your impeccable timing? We were just about to lock the gates. Why are you locking the gates? Don't want any riffraff finding their way inside. A wise suggestion of Chief Inspector Ron Beak. He's to officiate the ceremony, did you know? But of course you did. Please, come in. Tonight your safety is guaranteed by the Iron Wheel and House Guards alike. Thank you. Oh, shit. Uh, how are we going to distract? Can we distract? To see the interior of Hubalajad Palace with my own eyes? Truly we need... spectacular! Quiet. We need to get Zara inside. Any ideas? I could slip one of Velsa's sleeping poisons into the doorman's drink. But alas, I brought none with me. Could you convince him to step away? If not, perhaps causing a small distraction will draw him from the gate. Something thief-ish. Well, let's see if I can distract him. Are you lost? Wedding's in the other direction. Uh, I'm expecting someone to join me. What do you mean? You were the last through the gate. As long as I'm standing here, no one else is getting in. Persuade. Lie. You fool. Ex Magnifica Flora. She's disguised as a servant. I'll need an explanation. And if I'm not satisfied... You can join Magnifica for lore on the other side of the gate. One of her cousins plans to usurp her. But Drink loosens But Drink loosens his lips, and he's prone to brag. Huh. 
I heard rumors about Tanith Intrigue, but having to do that on her own wedding day, I almost feel sorry for her. I uh, need to check on one of the guests. Don't want to see anyone when I get back, if you follow my meeting. Yes, of Make course. Make it quick. Good work. Come, we should speak somewhere. Perfect timing. I can't exactly climb the palace walls in this outfit. What's the plan? Before the wedding, the groom should be presented to his guests. An old Tanith tradition. Wherever Kosh is, Nicholas won't be far behind. We'll need to keep an eye on him. Avoid drawing attention to ourselves. All right, where will Kosh greet his guests? Everyone seems to be gathering closer to the palace. You lead the way. I'll watch for Nicholas. I'm ready to go. <sighs> this is a nice change of scenery from the den. Okay, hang on. Map me. Palace. This place is a bit of a fortress. Just in time. My glasses and empty. I'd like to see the face of the man who stole my warehouse. <clears throat> Something in my throat. Keep your cool. Oh, I could use a break. Everyone! I require your attention! This is it. Stay close. Let's see if Nicholas makes an appearance. It is an honor and privilege to introduce our host for the evening. May I present the impending husband of Magnifica Falora, Lord Kosh. Welcome to my home. I must thank all of you for joining me on this momentous occasion. That's Nicholas. Please, eat and drink your fill. Soon, I shall speak to you not as a humble merchant, but as a noble of Tanith. Nicholas is Kosh. But I thought... So that means... Oh, no. We got problems. We got big problems. Do you want to contract the Brotherhood? Damn it. I should have put it together. Nicholas played us. He played everyone. There was never any Kosh to begin with. Are you certain? How is that possible? I don't know how Nicholas reinvented himself as a reclusive merchant lord, but he managed to do so. He could have been planning this for years. Bastard. What's the next move? We need to stop the wedding. Actually, we need Falora to do so. I think this can still work. Let's split up, learn where she is and how we can reach her. I need to come up with a very convincing argument. All right. I'll meet you when I'm done. Now we begin our spying? Oh, too loud again. So sorry. The servers. Are they coming from inside the palace? Perhaps they have a key. A guess, of course. I could be wrong. Um... I can't seem to select that. I recognize many of these faces. So few are from Tanith. As though... Alright, let's... Head down here. Okay, we got one key. We can go through the kitchen. But we still need to find out her whereabouts. Alright. I 
don't want to walk in the water. It just feels wrong. And I'm not going to walk through there because that's where the wedding's supposed to take place. There's gristle in the camel milk, she says. Of course there's gristle. Who wants milk you can't chew? No job is worth this. The resplendent Magnifica Flora shan't require your attendance. Bah! Who said that to you? Magnifica Flora's handmaid. Everything about her smells like roses, if you get me. Fusses over the bride like a doting aunt. She says the milk's for Magnifica Flora, but I know she drinks it herself. Some wine mixed in could loosen her up and cover up my spittle. If you were to tell me where to find Magnifica Flora, I'll give you some wine. She's not my patron. If you help me, I'll tell you whatever you want. The Somerset Hills 572 is subtle enough, but there's a group of fops who always hoard the bottles. Take one when they're distracted, or they're sure to cause a scene, which neither of us wants. All right. Well, we could get the wine. Let's see, where is that? Oh, okay. Let's do the wine one. Uh, let's put away our weapons. Get me that bottle, and I'll tell you whatever you care to know about Magnifica Flora. Here's your bottle. Wonderful. Magnifica Flora's handmaid shall soon have her own bowl of milk wine, entirely free of gristle. Where can I find Magnifica uh, Flora? Master Kosh installed her in his own bedchamber. It's upstairs, you can't miss it. Don't let the iron wheels see you. They're all through the palace like beetles on honey cake. Gotcha. All right. Oops. Yeah, it would be best to not fight the iron wheel. We want to try and do this as clean as possible. Hi. The palace is crawling with Iron Wheel. Lead the way. We'll follow from the shadows. Okay, first things first. Map me. Ugh, fucking hell. Where are we going? Barrel there to hide him. Take it for now. Up? I think we should go up. You're sitting right there. I don't want you to sit there. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until you move. There were two of you there. Oops. Oh shit, just saw someone. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, let's take a look. get through there. Go that way. There's a barrel right there. We can see it. It's also iron guard right there. 
servant. Okay, let's wait. Wait, 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 wait. Go. Go, 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 go. Alright, you're cleaning right there. Uh, barrel, barrel. I can't see any other barrel. Alright, this is not good. Someone going to come up the stairs? Someone coming up the stairs? No, 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 no. Let's go. All right, so we could hide in here if we need to. Let me go into this room first. could cut through right here. No, we can't. Let me take a look at that again. It says you can. Isn't that weird? So we're going to have to go around the balcony. All right, let's wait. Wait. Wait for you to sweep a hole in the floor. There we go, there we go, there we go, 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 go. Which way, which way? Alright, alright, alright. Go, 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 go. Who are you? How did you get in here? Magnifica Falora, we came to warn you. Kosh is not the man he seems. He's a merchant lord of Abaz Landing. That's one step above the scum they scrape from ship hulls. Is there any other grand revelation before I call the guards? Please, give us a chance to convince you. Before you close any deal, you must do all you can to learn if it is a bad one. People say, this is not how I imagined my wedding to be. They tell amusing stories of what went wrong, trying to outdo each other's tales. Calling the guards on wedding crashers isn't one I've heard. Why shouldn't it be the story I tell? Kosh is an alias. You're about to marry the man who stole your dowry. The Thieves' Guild stole my dowry. In doing so, they upset my standing in tennis. But far worse, they desecrated the remains of my ancestor, Denobia. When they couldn't remove the jeweled crown from her head, they separated it from her body. Your future husband did that. He framed the thieves' guilt. The merchant lords of Abaz Landing are exceptionally crooked. They buy from pirates who raid Teneth waters and bandits who raid Teneth roads. But plundering ancestral tombs? That is too far. Even for them. He, he used your dowry to become a merchant lord. Before that, he led the Thieves' Guild. Kosh, head of the Thieves' Guild? You say he betrayed his own people to steal a dowry for some mad plot to marry a noble of Tenneth? If you are bard sent by my cousin, your imaginations are sorely lacking. Why not say Kosh rode a dragon? He's not Kosh. His name is Nicholas. And we can prove he was behind the tomb robbery. With what time? My escort arrives soon to begin the wedding. I have accepted my fate, as you must accept yours. Unless you can produce the skull of Denobia herself, you can tell your fanciful stories to the Iron Wheel. I have indulged this madness for long enough. Magnifica Flora, are you almost ready? The guests are assembling within the palace. Magnifica Falora is indisposed. She'll be ready in just a moment. Do you intend to keep me here? Look around. There's nowhere to go. But what of the hidden passages Zira mentioned? 
There might be another way out, yes? Uh, uh, eh? Oh, that silver claw. Okay, come on. Lore book discovered. Of all my reasons, spring is my first and favorite of seasons. To see blue water shine on in the sun or the green trees. There is cool. Summer, fall, and winter all have lots of reasons. Winter. Did that do anything? Ah, uh, oh, sorry, something in my eye. Because is that is that spring? That's the problem. I don't know. combination okay let's try this again um That cabinet just click. Well, well. A portion of the dowry Nicholas decided not to return. And this must be Denobia's crown. Nicholas, you've doomed yourself. I knew Nicholas kept trophies from his heists. I used to smooth it over with the guild. One of his eccentricities, I'd say. Becoming Kosh hasn't altered his compulsion. He desecrated Denobia's remains, cut off her head. Now, we return the favor. What do you mean? I'll show Falora what Nicholas really is. She wants Denobia's crown as proof? I'll give it to her, along with her ancestor's skull. Once I have her attention, she'll listen. Do what needs to... Uh, do what you need to do. Find your way to the wedding crowd. Once Nicholas is revealed as a fraud, escort your date from the palace. I'll see you at the den soon enough. You're in charge until my return. Magnifica Falora, there's something you need to see. Alright, let's go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I was about to rush. Storage room. All right, let's be careful. Oh my god. 
Really? So where the hell am I going? Not that way. We seem to be safe for some reason. So, yay? The wedding is about to begin, but where is Zira? Today, Lord Kash of Abba's Landing joins with Magnifica Falora, the jewel of Tanith. It is my honor, as a duly appointed officer of the Iron Wheel, to officiate their union. Stop! There is no honor in this union. What is this? God! Oh no. Zira? You're alive? I... That is... What is the meaning of this? More importantly, why do you have the desecrated remains of my ancestor? The Iron Wheel. Look behind us. Should we be going? There must be some mistake. Chief Inspector Ronbeek, take everyone into custody. Uh, I want this mess sorted. They have seen her. Uh, oh, uh, Iron Wheel! Secure all exits! None shall leave the palace grounds! Question everyone here! Be thorough! Okay, that's not good. That's really not good, but let's see if we can... Oh, through that? Come on, dude. Come on. Alright. Map. What is it, kitty? Do I need to go up the stairs? Oh, come on. All right, we're almost free. We're almost free. Or at least to the courtyard. I have a crazy sushi right now. Wow. Courtyard. Oh, you're kidding. This place is crawling. Oh my god, okay. How bad is this? Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't ask me to repeat that move. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we have to wait. There we go. Okay. Let's split up. I'll meet you at the den. The others need to hear what happened. Whoa. <laughs> ah, sushi is playing with some toys. Return to the den. Can't I return the uh, dress? Even though I got blood all over it. Well, Hi, Sushi. Yeah, it sounds like some fireworks. It's definitely some fireworks. Oh, she's going to go take a look. Actually did all that without getting a bounty. If it's possible. I don't know. Zara might not make it. So we'll just finish up with this dialogue and go from there. Talks to walks softly. Boom. Your date made it back before you, informed us of what happened at the wedding. Don't blame yourself. Zira told you to leave. Does everyone know what happened at the wedding? Yes, Zira's capture was an unfortunate turn of events. But Nikolas is the Iron Wheel's prisoner as well. A small reason to celebrate. What about Zira? Magnifica Falora has her dowry and Nikolas is behind bars. The Iron Wheel won't be here much longer. We'll have a chance at freeing Zira in the chaos of their departure, whenever that is. But that's more your call, isn't it? What do you mean? Zira said you were in charge until she returned to the den. That makes you the acting guildmaster. Boss. Oh. That's unexpected. Just so we're clear, an acting guildmaster has no real power. But it makes you sound important, so we may as well call you that. Also, you get the blame if anything goes wrong. You know how it is. What can we do about Sarah? For now, nothing. Until we learn where they've taken her, there is little we can do. But we will learn. I'm certain of that. Hmm. No oh, sushi. Fireworks over. Hey. 
As a merchant, the most I can lose is my business. But your guild has lost so much more than that. I am truly sorry. Zira playing the hero again. I always told her she'd get herself caught or killed. I won't lose any sleep over this. Fair enough. That could have gone better. The Iron Wheel has Zira. Aren't we going to do something? Not until we know where they have her. But we will. I promise you that. If you care to read the actual invitation, here you go. And then I'll wrap up the video. Okay, well, it's definitely time to call it quits. So I do hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. And uh, you can subscribe down below for more videos like this and of other videos. But until when next we meet, please do be safe, everyone. Bye!